Hey, what is good, hey, team? It's your boy T back at it. Now, today, bro, we got a full review. You feel me? Now, normally, y'all know we come with the reactions and stuff. We've done a handful of full reviews in the past. And y'all be sure to go check your boy out on IG. That's underscore AT. I'll be giving y'all, you know what I'm saying, a couple updates and stuff over there prior to posting on YouTube. But, um,. Like I was saying, we've done food reviews in the past. Like we checked out the Pizza Hut Detroit style pizza. Uh, I think we did a Little Caesar Cheeser Cheeser. Taco Bell, we did a couple for them. A couple McDonald's, you know, like we've done a couple here and there, but I haven't done one in a couple months. I've been kind of laying off on it. I saw a couple of y'all asking about it, um, but we are back with it, coach. If y'all couldn't tell from the title, we love that chicken from Popeye. You feel me? We back at it, coach. Popeye's then dropped off some chicken nuggets. Now, I've seen people doing reactions to this, uh, or not react, well, kind of reactions, food reviews, whatever you want to call it. I've seen a couple people dropping them already. These officially don't release until the 27th though, of July. Um, and it's the 22nd today. So they'll be out in five days officially. But I called one of the Popeyes that's close to my crib um, this earlier today, around like noon. They said they already had them, so I pulled up on them. You feel me? Um, now, they didn't have any branding on the actual building at all for these. So I would assume they just waiting until the 27th. But on their menu, like on their digital screen, when you pull up, they actually had them on there as an eight piece and a 12 piece. I can't recall exactly how much the 12 piece was, but y'all should be able to see it on the screen right now. I'll throw it up for y'all. Um, but these, I, I ended up getting the eight piece and they came up to 501. So $5 one cent for eight of them. That is a little, I mean, that's not bad, but that's not really a good price to me either. Like I feel like maybe 401 would have been perfect. You feel me? Or $4 type thing, but let's go ahead and take these out. I still ain't, Pop the cap on them or nothing. They got them in this, what looks to be a mashed potatoes box. Hold on, let me see if I can get this dang on thumbnail. Now let's see, you feel me? I don't know if that's gonna be the thumbnail. We are gonna see how that go. But uh, yeah, man, they got eight of them in here. They are, they still feel pretty warm. I got them, I wanna say like 20, maybe 30 minutes ago. Yeah, these, these, these most definitely still a little bit warm. But we have a surprise, as y'all can tell from the title, it said Chick-fil-A employee will try these. Now my little brother just started at Chick-fil-A like two weeks ago. Obviously we've eaten Chick-fil-A, but he works there now. So um, I'm gonna come in or I'm gonna have him come in and taste test them and let us know his thoughts on them and all that. He, had, he initially said he thinks Actually, I'll just let him tell y'all once he comes in. But I'm about to go ahead and try these out. We do have... They gave me four sauces. I'm surprised they didn't charge me for the... Uh, for the for the sauces today. Because normally they'd be like, it's 50 cent and all this extra stuff. But we got Sweet Heat. I've never tried this, but I heard it was pretty good. Got that Black and Ranch. That's a must when you go to, to Popeye's. And this Mardi Gras Mustard. I've never had this one before, but I heard it was pretty good as well. So I'm gonna try all three of these today. But either way, bro, I'm doing a little bit too much talking. Um, so let's go ahead and see what he's talking about. Now from the reviews I've seen, people have said that they basically taste just like the chicken sandwich. So basically just a smaller version of it. But I'll let y'all see this. Hold on. I don't know if I can get my light right, you feel me? Put that up. So hopefully, y'all. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get this light right so y'all can see in the actual chicken, but y'all see it, bro. Literally, it does taste like the the uh, chicken sandwich, though. Now, obviously, they would have been a little bit crunchier had I ate them as soon as I got them, but 
I had to wait till I get home, set up the camera, all that stuff. And low key, this look like more than eight. Bro, they gave me like 15 nuggets in here, literally. I'm gonna try to see them. Like we, we, we got one, one, two, three, four, or five, five right there. I just ate one. And literally there's a, there. this thing is Matt, bruh, hold on. Let me just pour this out. This is four in my hand right here. It's still at least like six more in here. So hey, I don't know if, if every Popeyes is doing this, but they're definitely hitting you with the quantity. You feel me? Now, hold on. I already tasted one. Like I said, I'm going to taste it with the the uh, the sauces and all that just to let y'all know what those taste like or what the nugget tastes like with the uh, sauce. But let me call my little bro in here. Jazzy Jeff. Did y'all hear me? Jeff. Let's go, my boy. <clears throat> All right. So we got Jazzy Jeff about to slide on through. Give it a little taste and let us know what he think. Come on, bro. We ain't got all day to wait on you. We have all day. All day we need. Dirty shirt McGee and everything. This sloppy this guy. A real man. You gonna step in the light? No. Step up in the light, you feel me? Now my guy here, like I told y'all, works for Chick-fil-A. I just for mopped floors in the back, so I don't know nothing about He just mopped nothing. floors in the back. He said they didn't have them bread and chicken and all that, but Cat obviously... Wait, haven't you tasted their nuggets? Yes. I was thinking maybe you only had the, the chicken sandwich, but first of all, this is supposed to be an eight piece. They gave me about, it gotta be at least 15 pieces it's in there. It's Popeyes. What does that mean? He's gonna load you up just because it's all we have left. Getting a shot, bro. Getting a shot, bro. I'm gonna try. Okay. It just like Popeyes chicken. Now, no were you would you say that their chicken sandwich tasted exactly like their regular chicken, or a little bit different? Oh, it tastes different because of sauce, but that sauce tastes a little bit different. Yeah. So does that taste more like the regular chicken or like the yeah. chicken sandwich? It's not the regular chicken. Okay, okay, because I thought I would say it. Actually, I kind of I kind of do see that now though. But I'm about to try it with these. So first of all, what are you rating it? What are you rating? Like Chick-fil-A? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like a seven. He said he's rating at a seven. I might not be able to, to, to hear him, but a seven out of ten. What would you rate Chick-fil-A's nuggets? About like a high six. Oh, so you like these better? Yeah. Well, the, the crispiness and stuff is better. But Chick-fil-A's flavor not even that better. crispy, though. I'm saying, but yes, because they're microwave. <laughs> so you, but okay. Chick-fil-A has better flavor. Popeyes has better chicken quality. Okay, but overall, if you had to just choose, you're gonna like. If I had to choose if just one or the other, I would probably choose Chick-fil-A. It's because they taste better. Man just said he's gonna rank Popeyes a seven and a half. He's gonna rank yeah. Chick-fil-A a six, but he's gonna take the Chick-fil-A. How would. does that make sense? Because I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying. Hot and fresh, I would just prefer their flavor. Although these are crispier, better nutty. Okay. I'll take their regular flavor better. You don't try no. Unless right. they come out with a spicy. That's what I was gonna say. If they put out a spot, which I don't see why they wouldn't, because the spicy is like I don't think I've seen that on a menu, but if they put out a spice one, that would make so much sense because they already had the spicy chicken sandwich. But actually I guess the spicy chicken sandwich just had the spicy sauce on it. So it wasn't yeah. actual spicy chicken. So maybe they won't do it. They would put the same spicy chicken that's on the regular chicken. Like the spice mix or whatever that's on there. But he's talking about spice mix. They put a, 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 a spicy sauce on the No, I'm talking about on the regular the sandwich. chicken. They would treat it like that. Okay, okay. I see, I see what you're saying. Are you taking another one? No. He likes them better. He ranks them higher. He only wanted yes. one pint size. But their taste, but their taste is just the regular taste. You feel me? 
All right, bro. Get Yo, out Chick-fil-A of here, bro. get the same taste. You gave the audience mm-hmm. nothing to go off of. Yeah. You gave it us... It tastes like regular chicken, which is what I told you before. It's probably going to be that regular chicken. Okay. But okay. just, you know, in nugget form. But a better surface area of breading, crispier bites, <laughs> easy to dunk, you know, in the sauce. You but know. all in all, you still choosing... Chick-fil-A because of their flavor. Okay, okay. Hey, y'all, y'all stay tuned because we may have a uh, shout out to my boy Jazzy Jeff coming on in giving us a perspective from Chick Fil A. But um, for me, I don't know. I may, I'll be honest. I may, I may choose Chick Fil A myself too. If I had to rank these out of ten, I give them a hold on because I got, I got to eat some more. You feel? I can't just eat. And that got flavor on it too. I'm about to try these these sauces. I'm gonna rank it with no sauce. I'm gonna have to rank it a seven out of ten. I would have said eight, but the crunch on the outside ain't there. And like I said, that's on me. But I can't really tell y'all what it would taste like with or what the actual texture would be like with, with that crunch added. You feel me? But that's on me because I waited thirty minutes to. To actually try them, but sweet heat is up first. Try not to spill this. I'm trying to show y'all how the daggone sauce look. This is like a Polynesian type of texture to it. But I've never had sweet heat. I would assume it's what the actual title says. I mean, it's hot, but a little bit of sweetness to it. Oh my goodness. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. That sweet heat is where it's at, my boy. I don't even like hot sauces too much, but this ain't really, off that first bite, this ain't really hot like that. Like you can, you get a little kick of heat, but it's nothing that's too, too crazy. You feel me? But the sweetness definitely got a Polynesian Hmm. It's like a Polynesian or like sweet and sour sauce type of type of um flavor to it. <clears throat> Up next we're gonna do this Mardi Gras mustard. See what it's talking about. And I'm gonna get y'all up out of here soon. I know we have 13 minutes. It's a little lengthy, but hey man. Now we are, like I said, my little bro works for Chick-fil-A. Works at Chick-fil-A. Um, but if y'all want to, I was going to do initially Popeye's versus Chick-fil-A just off rip. But I was like, ah, let me go ahead and do the Popeye's first and I'm going to let y'all decide. If y'all want to see Popeye's versus Chick-fil-A, I may do that and I'll do it like a blind taste test type of thing. So I'll have my little bro who works for Chick-fil-A, blindfolded, or however we gonna do it. Have him taste one and the other and decide which one is which, which it may be easy to kind of figure out, but we still might do something like that. If not, we're we're just gonna do a regular Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A. Also thinking about doing Popeyes versus McDonald's. I low-key thought about Burger King, but Burger King got like middle school nuggets, you feel me? <laughs> so that's probably gonna be a no-go. That's the Mardi Gras mustard. It's a little thick. Mm. I don't know about that. That's not bad. It has something in there. I want to say that's hot. Is that Hollandaise? Or horseradish, not Hollandaise. Horseradish. I can tell that that like flavor. I, I don't I don't like it. Sweet heat. Going back to that. Boy, when I tell you that sweet heat, that's gonna be one of them ones for me. Black and Ranch. <clears throat> I've already had this one plenty of time. More of that. I think they have a regular, 
That man's about to fall out, bro. Y'all see it. It's, it's a like a like orange hue to it. Like light orange kind of color to it. But this is pretty good. Only thing is with the black and ranch, it adds a little more salt to the flavor of what you already eat. So if your chicken is already a little salty to you and you add that, it's just gonna make it more salty. Um, the sweet heat is my favorite though out of these three. Like I said, that's surprising to me because I, I would have thought the black and ranch was gonna be because that's the only one that I ever get. But that sweet heat is something different. But yeah, man, I really got too much else to say, you feel me? I'm low-key about ready to finish all these, my boy. Mm. On the real, next time I get a chicken sandwich, if you try a chicken sandwich from Popeye's, get take the chicken off, get some sweet heat, and maybe like a little dab of that black and ranch. Shake it up on the chicken itself. Like y'all know how people do the Chick-fil-A sandwiches where they take it out and shake it up in the in the, uh, in the the actual bag and all that. Do that, put the bun back on and try that. I haven't tried it obviously, but I'm probably gonna try that the next time I get a chicken sandwich from Popeye's. But hey man, that's all I got to say. We, all, we over 16 minutes for this review, Coach. That's tough. But hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Like I said, if y'all wanna see a Chick-fil-A versus Popeye's, um, just let me know in the comments or Chick-fil-A versus anybody. If y'all have any certain specific fast food places that y'all want me to check out and pair it up against Popeye's, let me know in the comments and I'll try and get to it. Um, my bro, these are good. And I still got, y'all seen how many I didn't, I didn't eat. And it's still like six more in here. I ordered an eight piece. So I started at the beginning and said the $5 and one cent was a little much for eight. But if y'all gonna give me this many every time, I'll take it. We just like, what you mean? You feel me? But it is what it is, bro. Without the sauce, I'll give it a seven out of 10. The horse, the Mardi Gras mustard, get it out of here. I don't really like that just cause of that horseradish in it. That's just a weird taste to me. The black and ranch, I would say takes it up to 7.5. They don't even do nothing too crazy with the black and ranch, even though I like that. The sweet heat, take that thing up to like 8.3 for your boy, you feel me? Maybe 8.5, like the sauce itself, that thing goes crazy. Let me get one more of these before we get up out of here, but yeah, man. Popeyes definitely did their thing with this one. Now, I don't know if this is if these nuggets are gonna go as crazy as the, the, the chicken sandwich sit, situation did. I got the sweet heat at the bottom. A little bit of the black and ranch on top. Mm. That's an 8.5 for sure. Yeah, I don't know if people going as crazy over these as they did for the chicken sandwiches. But we gonna see on the 27th, you feel me? Y'all get down there in the comments, let me know what y'all thought about these. I gave y'all the price, taste, my thoughts on it. If y'all have tried them, let me know. If not, I would say call your local Popeyes and see if they got them. Um, like I said, mine didn't have any branding on the outside of the building, but they had them on their menu. And when I called them, they said they had them already. So I would suggest calling if y'all don't want to wait till the 27th. But that's all I got to say, bro. If y'all, if, if enough people say they want Chick-fil-A versus Popeyes, I'll drop that review or that food review this weekend. If enough people drop comments saying that. But hey, we almost at 20 minutes. Um, I ain't got too much else to say. We on the road to 20K subscribers. Hey, team, I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a little over here. Catch y'all in the next video. Are these better than Chick-fil-A? We're going to find out on the next episode of AT Reviews. We out of here.